For those of you that don't have InDesign or any other fancy software to create mood boards and you want something that's easy to use and user friendly and it's free, I got you guys. So I'll be introducing you guys to Canva if you haven't already heard of it, but I'll be showing you around and it's great features. I use Canva basically for anything and everything. So let's just get right into this video. If you don't know what Canva is, I am going to briefly walk you through the interface. And if you already know Canva, feel free to skip towards the mood board part. Canva is basically a design platform that can be used to create a variety of things like presentation, posters, t-shirts, business cards. You can browse through their pre-made templates or create your own custom design. I also really love how it already has these preset blank documents for social media platforms like Instagram post, story, uh, YouTube banner. On the left hand panel, it will store and save all your designs and you can see all the items that I have designed using Canva. I literally make anything in Canva. I've made my thumbnails, I've made some presentation slides, postcards, this is where I make my Instagram stories and Instagram posts. If you want to edit a design Simply click on it and a new tab will open up and this side panel offers so many features to add onto your design You can browse through a lot more templates This tab is where you drag and drop any images you want to import onto your design Canva also offers a photo library where you can search anything you want um, Some of them of course are for the pro version in elements You can look through all these different shapes and sizes stickers charts and items that you can bring into your slide. You can kind of sort through all the backgrounds that they have. If I click this, it's going to automatically change it to this gradient blue color. And it also has so many different font styles and I like how it comes in a set so you can kind of, you know, mess around with it. So there's two ways to construct a mood board. The first way is to search for a mood board, choose a template and just drag your images in or you can create your own custom one. I'm going to show you the first one. So as you search up mood board, you're going to come across a variety of templates. Some are only available for pros, but if you find one that you really like, you can easily make it yourself. Here I'm going to choose this free template. I actually used this template to create the mood board for the Hey Arnold video. If you guys remember, this is where I created the mood board. After you click on it, a new document is going to open up and this is the easy part. First start by dragging your images into the upload area and then you can simply click on the image or images you want to import and it just pops up right onto your screen. As you hover over these square boxes, the images just kind of plops itself inside the frame. So that's basically it. Just kind of lay the images in however you want. And notice how I can insert the image on these colored boxes. That is because it's just a plain box, not a photo frame box. To insert a photo frame box, go to the elements tab, scroll down to where it says grids, and they're going to have a bunch of different shapes for you to use in your design. I'm just gonna look for the regular square box, plop that into the design, and insert my image. Or the other way is just to copy one of the boxes you already have. You can change the color of the decorative boxes that are there. And I like how Canva pulls the colors from the pictures you inserted into the document and creates this nice little color palette for you to use from. Lastly, if you don't like this layout, you can simply just extend these pictures, tweak the format to kind of create your own custom design. To create your own mood board, it is just as simple. Since I'm going to post this on Instagram, I'm obviously going to use the Instagram post template. Then I literally start by laying out the images however I want, change the size of it, insert different types of shapes. The other way is to use the photo grid template and start creating the layout that you want and then insert the images. So you can start this mood board two different ways, three different ways, get as creative as you want. You can use one of the templates and get inspiration from that and tweak it and make your own. A lot of people have their own ways to create a mood board and the way that I like to create one is to include different types of images, whether that's a picture of texture, close-up shots, landscape images, fashion, furniture, and some interior design. Mood boards are just a great way to express your own custom style or even your client style. It's like almost telling a story. The way the images are laid out also has to make sense and it needs to feel balanced. You're not going to get it the first time. It's going to take a little bit of experimenting. Here I was moving the images around because I felt like the picture of the road and the bike and the outfit were a bit too much next to each other. 
yes, they are like similar color tones and it kind of flows, but I felt like they were too much alike and too much to be side by side. So you want there to be some variation between the images. So I decided to swap out the road picture for coconuts, but then I felt like the bike picture was a bit too much and needed to break away from the outfit, so I moved that. Even after moving that, I felt like it was still it just wasn't feeling right. Sometimes you might even need to remove a photo completely if the mood board still isn't flowing together. Again, it's about finding the right balance and composition for the images, making sure they fit into the storyline, and most importantly, it portrays your personal style and aesthetic. That is it for this video, guys. I really hope you are feeling confident in creating a badass mood board. Feel free to share it with me. You know, send me a DM on Instagram. I would love to see your mood boards and share it on my story if you guys don't mind. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And again, subscribe if you guys want. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye. It's not for me to say.